I've been a Metal Gear fan since I was a kid. It's literally my favorite series of all time. So of course, I'm super excited at the fact that I can now enjoy my favorite series on my PS5. Naturally, this means I'm going to replay the whole thing all over again. And naturally, the right way to play this game is in release order. You know what I'm saying? So today, let's start with Metal Gear Solid. How does it hold up 25 years later? Now let's get some of the obvious things out of the way right now. Number one, this is a PlayStation 1 game. So of course, visually speaking, it is not as impressive now as I remember it being back in 1999. I did just age myself. Now, this might be nostalgia speaking, but these aged visuals haven't really diminished my experience with Metal Gear Solid to date. The other thing I'd like to get out of the way is the gameplay. Age hasn't slowed it down one bit. Okay, maybe a little bit, but it ain't all that bad. The aiming and the movement really hasn't aged all that well, but the introduction of the stealth mechanics that the Metal Gear series is known for have. Leaving footprints in the snow to distract the genome soldier. Huh? Whose footprints are these? Knocking on walls to create an opening. Huh? What was that noise? Using a cardboard box to avoid detection, all of these mechanics still feel great in an otherwise aged game. Where the gameplay still shines bright 25 years on, are the boss fights. I've played through these boss fights hundreds of times, and every single time I find myself having an absolute blast playing through them. Revolver Ocelot ricocheting bullets off of walls, Psycho Mantis reading my every move, Gray Fox, Sniper Wolf, Vulcan Raven, Metal Gear Rex, Liquid Snake, each fight is just better than the one before. It's as if the law of diminishing returns does not apply here. Also, quick side note, the music during these boss fights is absolutely incredible. Another aspect of gameplay where I still found myself having fun so many years later are some of the set pieces. I know they're coming, and I'm prepared for them each time, but I still get this sense of panic, being trapped in an elevator with four soldiers in stealth camouflage, having waves of soldiers swarm at me while Meryl struggles to even pull the trigger, these moments are few and far between, but they just add another layer of thrills to the overall experience. Sure, the aiming is dated and the same can be said about the movement, but overall, Metal Gear Solid is still a very fun game to play. Just as fun in 2023 as it was in 1999. Now, with the gameplay out of the way, we're going to spend the rest of our time together talking about the story. Now listen, I get it. Kojima's way of telling a story is not necessarily the norm, but playing through Metal Gear Solid now this was probably his most straightforward story in the whole series. You're basically trying to prevent a group of terrorists from launching a nuclear weapon. That's the surface level gist of it all. Very quickly into the game, the two people you're sent to rescue just die right in front of you for no apparent reason. As things progress, you discover that there's more to the mission than meets the eye. This mission really isn't about saving the world from nuclear catastrophe, but more so for the sole purpose of hiding America's secret weapons, Metal Gear Rex, and an advanced stealth nuclear warhead. Everything you'd expect to find in an action spy thriller is present in Metal Gear Solid's story. Plot twists and turns, exaggerated encounters against impossible odds, the works, it's all there. What isn't so evident at first glance are the real life themes that this game touches upon. Nuclear proliferation, the ugly and only side of war, genetic predestination, and so much more. For those of us who pay close attention, Metal Gear Solid is so much more than just a stealth action video game. It has substance. Now, if underlying themes isn't the peanut butter to your jelly, then don't worry because the basic surface story alone is incredibly fun to experience. And one area that this game surprised me on in this playthrough was its pacing. Shit gets real really quickly into this game and once things get rolling, it does not slow down. First, it's the Ocelot fight. Then shortly after that, you fight the M1 tank. Then it's Gray Fox, then Psycho Mantis, so forth and so on. There is maybe 30 or so minutes between boss fights in this game. And that time between fights is filled with great dialogue that pushes the story forward and builds on all the characters in this story. Nowadays, with modern games, I catch myself being bored between one major event and the next. With Metal Gear Solid, I've been on a ride since the moment I started the damn game. And I can't help but feel that you would feel the exact same way too. This game is short, sweet, to the point, has perfectly timed ups and downs, twists that will leave you guessing till the very end. 25 years later, this game is still a timeless classic that age has not slowed down one bit. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down there below. 
Are you a fanatic of Metal Gear Solid like I am? Sound off below. Have you played this game right now for the very first time? I want to hear what you think. Until next time, be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Peace out. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? I want to enjoy life. I really do.